nobody invented artificial intelligence. What am I talking about? The concept of an artificial intelligent thing being created is ancient. It's the origin story of humanity which we see across the globe, such as Prometheus and lots of other gods taking clay and creating an autonomous human thing. From this monomyth we've had centuries of stories of this type of creation. In 1880 Mary Shelley wrote Frankenstein, subtitle A Modern Prometheus. In 1920 Capek wrote R.U.R. Rossum's Universal Robots, a play which coined the term robot that we use to this day. Though what a lot of people don't know is that the robots in question were actually organic life forms. In parallel there's been a whole set of stories about the creation of non-organic entities. In the Jewish tradition we have golems, in ancient Greece there was Talos, in ancient Egypt there were talking statues. These stories have been repeated and remixed over the ages. In 1726 in Swift's Gulliver Travels there's a thing called the Engine, which is one of the early stories we have where it's not an embodied intelligence but a mechanical intelligence. In 1863 Butler wrote Darwin Amongst the Machines. This is a dystopian tale about machines which evolve and take over. Sound familiar? In 1879 George Eliot Yes, that George Eliot wrote Shadows of the Coming Race, a very similar dystopian tale about machines taking over. And then we have the history of technology computing itself. We found an ancient Greek device designed to predict solar eclipses, and there are arguments that's what Stonehenge and other circles were for. 1642 we have Pascal's calculator, 1670 we have Leibniz's calculating machine, 1820 we have Difference Engine, which starts to look a lot more like modern computers, add some electronics into it, and we get the evolution into the current digital computers we have today. I'll do another video on why I'm saying this, but the key is that new technologies and what we think about these technologies is formed over very, very long periods of time, and they're not determined purely by the mechanics of the technology itself, but stories with told to each other about what the technologies are. They both form what a technology is and what we think it is, and how that technology sits in society. 